Yo, hey, what's up, guys? Quite a few people showed interest in my unkillable... Okay, it's quite not unkillable. One champion will not be unkillable. But I will kind of call it unkillable if your DPS is tanky enough. So th they showed interest in my unkillable team. What can do nightmare on full auto. It's not the best damage in the world. I'm not gonna lie. But it is kind of really cool because we have options in here. And it is cool. I'm gonna show you the preset right here and we're gonna test out some different things and you might wanna have or you you might have and you maybe don't have an Artak built like that and you wanna quickly do some someone else or whatever that we're gonna check it out but first of all huh, no guys I'm gonna show you the preset I'm gonna show you the speeds in here because it is kind of confusing people I have plus 10 life arena bonuses and yeah, it does not matter if you have bonuses or not. So we're gonna look at the base stat first and then we're gonna go in presets and you will see plus 10 everywhere. But don't get confused, we will just, yeah, be on our base speed and you can just copy that and you will be okay. Of course, Emic 271, he's in the region set and resistance wise, because he needs it. Masteries, we're gonna take a look at those champions first before we're gonna jump in and do our testings and stuff and showcases and whatever. And let's check out those pain keepers. Uh, those, I think one of them is in my vault or something. Yeah. So, pain keeper number one, Master is right there. They are resistance wise. At this point, I'm, I'm not. I don't need it anymore. The, the only thing what could happen is that you skip your heal skill because the block debuff is so good placed that you basically don't need resistance but I can I did it so I was stuck on it and I I'm too lazy to, to change it back for some yeah unknown reasons. Why should I even do it? Because they are kind of wait I didn't talk about the speed. The speed is 252 on this one and I will use them in other areas in the game he they are included in the master code and all that and check that out the master code is making emic work in the whole game and you really should know what, what's going on on there just check out the playlist in my on my channel and you should be okay in 260 speed right there and he's also resistance focused but like I said I could skip it let's check out the man eater man eaters back Woo! <laughs> and do we write him like that? I think so, yes. Is it that one? I hope it's that one. No, it is not that one. I repeat, it is not that one. It is this, this one. Right here, the, the man eater used in the comp will be 270, one speed below Emic, but you can go a little bit sl slower on the speed, it wouldn't be a problem, just make sure he is in the same turn order what I have, like right after Emic. Who else is in there, pain keepers? We have our Artak, our good boy. He's basically a really, really nice champion. And he is in a region and is he immortal? No, not complete region and defiant right now. And yeah, it is basically like you wanna have your Artak. Most of people are using him in Ice Golem and you haven't built like that already, but Artak is kind of a little bit weird in that comp because yeah, he will do weird stuff because he's gaining increased speed so we can basically not tune him. So yeah, we, I will explain that in a second when we actually go into the run and stuff. And who else is left? The Shamael. <coughs> is it that one? I hope so. Yeah, it is that one. And he is damage focused because we can and he is actually a really nice damage dealer. No resistance, no nothing, just basically damage. And that's it. So let's go talk about the presets first. That is important. You, th Those are all it. Now it's the wrong team. What am I doing? Boo Bronco, boo. Keep going faster. Talk faster. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> so that's our talk. And Emic, Painkeeper number one, Painkeeper number two, Painkeeper, no, uh, not, not Painkeeper number three, Man Eater, and Shamal. 
And the thing is, I'm using the RSL helper, the new Hydra feature that you can repeat over and over your run until it hits a certain damage threshold. Like when you put in 50 million, it will be stopping at 50 million, but probably this team can a little bit do a little bit more. But the whole team is basically unkillable. Besides Artak, he's gaining speed so much that I cannot speed tune him right here. And I saw for myself like, hey, when a champion can survive by himself, he will be okay because he's gaining shields. Wait, sorry, I have to lower my volume a little bit on my headphones. And what well, what was I? Uh, yeah, um, when you have a champion that is just tanky enough, they will gain heal from the pain keepers. They will get shields from MX. So it is kind of okay if you just have a tanky champion. Like it, we will check out, for example, the King Na Naras. N Naras. I forgot his name. We will check that out in a second. And also we will change our man eater for someone else. And we will see what's happening. But Yannick did it and he said, hey, it's really nice. And because we are basically repeating um, our run more often that we basically are supposed to, <laughs> like when you do it on your own, just clicking free regroup the whole day or something, you can run it overnight. And then it is not so important that your team is super stable. They just need to be like 50% of the time doing the job they need to do and you should be okay because then you hit the, the damage what you want and you go out there. No stress, I'm not gonna do Hydra anymore on manual. I'm sick of it and not gonna do it, that's why I'm gonna show you right here. And yeah, basically the whole team is unkillable the whole time. We have danger of mischief head because he can steal our buff from our emic and everything falls apart. That's the most danger we have. And everything else should be okay, even if we get a provoke on our pain keepers or something, that shouldn't be a problem because they are in the turn where they're actually just using the A2 and it doesn't matter if they lose that one turn. But that one here can fail, the mischief target can target someone else or something because one has more buffs or something. But I made a video yesterday, no, no today, and I, I showed that my team did 50 million and I was okay with it just for full auto and I kept it like that. And it's just repeating over and over. When you, yeah, we got our buff stolen right now, that should be a, a fail one. So that is a normal thing for me, but I'm accepting it. That will be totally a fail right now. And the damage went to 50, 55 million or something for me. You can probably go a little bit higher, but you gotta repeat your run over and over. Use the RSL tool and for the Hydra, use it and just do it over and over. Or just press the button by yourself while you do work or something in the background or whatever. You know, kind of know what I mean, but highly recommend it. Do your runs on auto now because it is so much cooler and you know what I mean. And we will end that run right now because it's gonna take a little bit longer. We will, yeah, I, I can jump in right now and you see it, it's gonna be stable. Just watch the other video. You see the, the outcome of my old um, team and it's over 50 million, so it is okay. But I'm gonna show you also kind of replacements. Replacements, first of all, Sharmael cannot be replaced because the blue head is right now in the first rotation and also it will pop up at some point. So just don't use it at all. The man eater can probably, yeah, we will test it right now. Yannick said it's cool, but I will use my Mithrala in spot of him, so we will check that out. But I maybe I don't have the right speed. He's maybe a little bit too fast, but we'll see how that ends. And pain keepers, they need to be the same. Emic needs to be the same, and the DPS can be changed for someone else that I don't know, for a G nut. You know what? Let's test them out. First of all, Maybe we can increase the damage by itself if we use a Mifrala in here because yeah, Mifrala just gives us the hex more damage and yeah, keeping us tanky and everything should be. Wait, I'm gonna do that on one. And that on two. She is a little bit fast right now, so she is faster than my Emic. That could be a problem right now. Maybe I'm gonna fix it, make her a little bit slower or something just for the video and we're gonna change also our DPS, just a little test, maybe. Um, where is he? We will go for King Narcissus or what's his name? N Narcissus, yeah. We will try him out for a second because he's just gonna do main skill and 
other skill all the time and also your whole team will just do their main skills and they basically don't have A1s anymore in this team variation. So if you can come up with something else, come in the Discord, share it with us and maybe we will get some juicy information from you. So is he set? Wait, where is he? Right there. We also could make Shama S super slow. That's what I usually do and put uh, put him in the leader spot. So even the blue head is out there, he will not lose his unkillable at all time. And you can use a damage dealer, just yeah, switch those places like damage dealer and Shamael around. And yeah, then you have unkillable the whole, whole time. But yeah, I'm just leave it like that because he's super tanky. But if you use a champion that is killable by, him all, by himself, just flip those um, spots around and use Sharma as super slow, like no speed at all and use him in the leader spot and you should be okay. And I usually do it with, with a Geomancer and with those um, two spots flipped around and I'm not, never gonna kill a, a head in something, but it's not gonna work all the time on all rotation. Right now it's still a rotation that is not really working on that. And I'm sorry for that, but it is how it is. But I've given you a solution right here. so. Let's jump in, let's see what Narcissus, Narcissus is doing with Mephrala together and we will see what's gonna happen. I hope they're gonna survive and everything. <laughs> Yannick told me he used uh, Mephrala, he sent me a screenshot and everything was cool and yeah. So there are a couple solutions in here, probably a helicaf you can use but I recommend not using a helicaf. Your run takes forever if <laughs> he's gonna counter take all the time. But he could be a solution like with, on a hex set would be cool and yeah, whatever. Or, or our narcissist got um, provoked, that's kind of dumb for the damage. But until now it's not looking too bad, to be honest. Let's see, I'm curious myself, like how, how is he performing in that? Maybe I can use him in here, that would be cool, so I have another spot free for just having an arena champion. And he's just in my Hydra team. Would be cool. And he cannot be affected by decreased attack and stuff, so that's cool also. Okay, we got um, Mufrala right now in here, so it's a little bit unfair to um, compare. Okay, wait, Artak is not hitting by himself, it's just um, HP burns. It's got not gonna affect anything if you have Hex on there. A little bit, you know, but not really. So, at this point, he is kind of performing okay too, so. Huh. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe I'm trying my helicopter in a second so we can see what's gonna... I, I don't know if he's speed tuned the right way right now, but we can see in the first beginning how the damage is gonna be. And if, okay, if we kill now a, a couple heads, it will be a little bit harder because my damage dealer right now is a damage dealer and not yeah, by passive or burns, poisons or reflecting damage or something. So he would be hitting harder if, a, if one of those heads is gonna die. And uh, yeah, maybe. But also Mithrala, if we don't get our buffs stolen from the mischief head, it looks like everything is okay. And kind of, it was really nice that my Mithrala right now got attacked from the mischief head and Mithrala just resisted because she has basically resistance by herself just by having accuracy. Was it like that? I think it was like that. When you have accuracy on her it's gonna convert into resistance and yeah then you got more resistance and if she's gonna be the target then hey that's a cool thing to be honest. It, it looks like Mufrada is way better right now to be honest. But I use her in another team of mine so I really cannot use her in here but it would be an option. He's gonna cleanse sometimes to provoke, it's cool too, but yeah, not the best in the world. So at this point, but we need um, pain keepers to be have resistance, so the mischief head, even if they, if he targets, um, the mischief head just stole some buffs from somewhere, I don't know, I didn't pay attention, but if they, if the target, uh, the mischief head is gonna target the pain keeper, they should be have resistance, so they're not get, gonna get their turn meter decreased and they fall out of order and stuff so but yeah the, the boss stole some buffs but it it is still in rotation that happens way often that you think like sometimes my emic got his buff stolen 
And then he just came back in and used the taunt again and they just went into right turn order and everything was okay. So... Yeah, the damage is a little bit lower than the attack. But to be honest, it's not like so much away from each other. So I can say like, oh, it's super bad. He would perform okay. Or Sharma A got target, so he has now stolen the buffs and kind of Sharma A is in danger to die, so we need to have... Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> but you, you kind of know what I mean right now, so... It is more of an RNG based thing, but if you keep running it over and over, like I did it for 3 hours and I had my 50 million and I wasn't even on, <laughs> on my computer, so it was super nice. Can we test someone else? Let's test Newt for a second. <coughs> maybe he's the super guy. I think I tested him already, but I... Maybe, I don't even remember to be honest. Let's... where is he? Newt. He cannot use his A2 because then he will be the mischief target, but kind of you could make him a mischief target if you have the stats. You don't need accuracy in here, so if you want to rebuild a nude for that one, I don't know. I, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you want to, whatever it takes, you know. <laughs> oh, Mifrala is still in there. Um, yeah, that's probably better for nude. Yeah, nude, show your power. The damage is nice. And also he will just use, okay, he will use A, A once now, but usually he's gonna just do his main skills. Because we have three resets in a row, and he does his A1, main skill, A1, main skill. Like his, his max HP skill. Yeah, the damage if he comes around a little bit more often. Maybe I can increase my own damage right now. That would be sick. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, the damage is way better. <laughs> let's see, let's see, maybe something cool. Guys, I made a video and ha I have something cool about it. That would be so nice. Now he's gonna do the A1, because it's his A1 turn. And he is by himself tanky and he will self heal by using his... We got... Ah, again, buff stolen. And maybe turn meter, I don't know yet. Why did he do his A? Ah, maybe he got provoked. That, that is a thing, provoke in here, so... Yeah. It, it's T again. But alright, the damage looks... <laughs> way better. <laughs> yes, maybe I got something to double my damage. That would be nice. That would be actually nice. I think we have been on turn 25, turn 30 or something, till we reached... Why the hell did he die? What happened? <laughs> I swear to god, it's everything it should be okay. But I think it is kind of because Mifrala is maybe in the wrong spot. Or oh, wait, let me change. Let me try something. Let me try something, because I want to know too. I want to increase my damage full auto. That would be sick. Yes, yes, where is he? And we're gonna do the flip around, you know. Flip, flip. The flippity flop. And like that. Let's see. I it didn't pay attention. Maybe it was a buff steal or a turn meter steal or something was going on. They flipped out of order. But usually that shouldn't happen if you don't get your buff stolen and your turn meter. Sometimes the buffs aren't, aren't so important, the term leader is more the, the important thing. And since we have mischief target right there, on the beginning, it's it's super dumb on the beginning, but it is how it is, and yeah. But we also got the blue head right there, and makes our g nut go faster. And may, yeah, maybe that's why he does A1 sometimes, one more turn, because he gets term leader boosted so much, and yeah. Let's see. Yeah, he got the provoke right now. Again! <laughs> I swear to god, that doesn't happen so often. <laughs> and not on the beginning. <laughs> like five turns in, <laughs> and then floop! Give me the buffs. But I think it was only buffs, so we should be okay if it doesn't. If it was not Termina on the beginning. 
it doesn't matter because you're not in danger to get eaten or something. So he has the unkillable blue head. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Yes, nude. Uh, uh, uh. He almost killed the blue one. I repeat. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna repeat. I think to flip around the hex was just um, hurting our damage because we didn't from the beginning do the hex spread and stuff, but. Huh. I think something is going not too good in here. That shouldn't be a case in that scenario. Why did he die? Huh. I think Mifrala is just the wrong speed. Let's check out her speed. She throws it off a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. I can't tell right now, but the, the like I said in the beginning, like check out the video from today and you see the damage was over 50 million. And I just didn't do anything, so... How speedy is she? 280. Can we quick fix it? Quick fix! 17, we need to go like 6 or something. I'm gonna take you all the way with me. Because it is kind of important to know what you can do and what you can't do. Why is it just, yeah, not working anymore? And we will go... Speed. Do we have like a low roll? Seven. Huh? <laughs> Perfect. So now she should be right behind Emic. Like it was before. And yeah, we will see. Are we in danger of provokes now? Yeah. That could be a reason if one of those pain keepers get provoked and the three percent thingy and yeah, but yeah, whatever. That's why I'm using the repeat me over and over to it to just make it happen and see what's going on and uh, because yeah, <laughs> you know how it is. You start your run, you do your manu manual run, everything is okay the first 30 minutes. And then one thing happens and you know for yourself that is not the best you can do and you are tempted to do it again because you want to see the big numbers and if you have another team that does really good for you <laughs> and you don't have to be on your computer that's the best thing ever i was checking taking attention if they got provoked pain keepers i want to kind of know what happened because yeah the setup right here looks the most promising. I'm not gonna lie, but maybe you can use your nude already, but that could be actually like an 80, 90 million run. So, but I think I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna do my testing for myself and maybe I will keep you up what kind of damage was there and yeah, but that will be the end of the video. I hope really you're gonna press the like button. It's the only way I can see that you guys really like what I do and I should, yeah, just keep going on and do what I do right now. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. And yeah, <laughs> wait, did I show you everything? Stats? Yes, presets, yes, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> have a nice day.